This is a video demonstration on depreciation and depletion. In this video, I'm going to work the solution to example number eight. This example actually features two different problems, one on depreciation and one on depletion. So problem number one, the Harris Company has recently purchased new equipment. The equipment cost $100,000. It has an estimated useful life of either five years or 5,000 hours of operation. The salvage value is estimated to be $500. Under the requirements, we are required to record the journal entry for the first year of depreciation. But we're going to do this three times under three different methods. On part one, we will use the straight line method. On part two, we will use the units of production method. And on part three, we will use double declining balance method. Now remember, all three of these methods are GAAP approved, which means that any business can choose any one of these three methods as their method of depreciation. But since every business has their own feelings about that, has their own preferences, we need to know all three just in case. Now the key to this is actually understanding both the journal entry and the calculations. So in terms of the journal entry, whenever I record depreciation, I want to debit depreciation expense. That's a standard expense account. That'll allow me to show the cost. Remember, depreciation is just a way of slowly expensing an asset. And then on the credit side, I'm going to credit accumulated depreciation and that's a contra asset that's going to show an amount that's being deducted from the value of the asset now I'm gonna to have to do this journal entry three different times but the good news is that the journal entry titles are not going to change so I can go ahead and paste these for three different entries because they'll stay the same the only thing that's going to change is my amount and that's going to depend on my method now, in terms of the calculations, calculating depreciation is very easy, provided that you know the formula. Now, the formulas are in the textbook. They're also in the video lecture on depreciation. And by now, you should have these formulas memorized. So for the first journal entry, we're going to use straight line method. The formula for straight line method is cost minus salvage value divided by years. So the cost is 100,000, the salvage value is 500, and the number of years is five years. So we will have 100,000, we have the salvage value, we'll take that cost and deduct that salvage value, that gives us 99,500, and then 99,500 divided by five years gives us about 19,900. So if straight line is going to be that method on part one, I would book $19,900 worth of depreciation for the first year. Now on part two, we're going to use a different method. This is going to be the units of production. This is a different formula. It's cost minus salvage divided by total units times the units for the period. So the cost is the same, 100,000. Salvage value is the same, 500. But this time we're not going to use the number of years. This time we're going to use total units. So the total capacity would be 5,000 hours of operation. But then I need to know how many hours it was operated in the current year. So if you look on part two, it says we're going to assume units of production method and it says assume the equipment was used for 190 hours in the first year. So they really didn't use it that much in year one. So in this case, the cost, once again, is 100,000. Salvage value is 500. Cost minus salvage, 99,500. I'm going to divide that by the total units of capacity, which they said would be 5,000 hours. I get 19. 90. So that means that for every hour that that machine was operated, I want to take $19.90 worth of depreciation. So I'll multiply that by the 190 hours 
because that was the number of hours the machine was actually operated and I get 3781. So if this is going to be our method we will use 3781 for the second journal entry. Now for part three we're, we're going to use double declining balance. This is a totally different formula from the first two. This will be the number one divided by years times two times cost. So the number one divided by years, it's five years. So that would be one divided by five, which is 0.2. Then we want 0.2 times two, which is 0.4. Then we want 0.4 times cost. The original cost is 100,000. So that gives me $40,000. So if that was gonna be my method, I would take $40,000 worth of depreciation in the first year. So what's interesting about this is we did this three times and this was the same asset with the same information but look at the different answers that we got. So clearly depending on the method that you choose you're going to get a different answer. And usually the highest answer comes from double declining balance because that's an accelerated form of depreciation. So that completes part one or, or problem one. Now we also have a second problem and this is going to be the problem on depletion. It's the same company, it's Harris Company once again. It says they recently purchased mineral rights for one million dollars. There is an estimated 200 tons, 200,000 tons of available ore. There is no salvage value and they want us to prepare the journal entry for depletion assuming that 33,000 tons were extracted. Now anytime you talk about depletion, always remember that depletion is very similar to depreciation. The only difference is you're dealing with a natural resource rather than a plant asset. In terms of the journal entry, it's going to be very similar. We're going to use an expense, but in this case we will use depletion expense. And on the credit side, it will be accumulated depletion. So you see how similar it is to depreciation. It's pretty much the same thing. We just changed the title slightly. Now in this case, we have to know how to calculate depletion. The good news is there's not another formula to memorize because the depletion formula is exactly the same formula as units of production depreciation. So we want the cost, which in this case is one million. Now there's no salvage value, so I don't have to deduct a salvage value. Now the one million, that's going to be multi that's going to be divided by what amount? The total units of capacity. Well, it said that they estimated that there were two hundred thousand tons available. So the one million dollar cost divided by the two hundred thousand tons gives us five dollars. So that means that for every ton that they extracted, we're going to take $5 of depletion. So 5 times the 33,000 tons that it said they mined in the first year, that gives us 165,000. So if they mined 33,000 tons, we would take $165,000 worth of depletion in year one. So that completes this example on depreciation and depletion.